Time to continue this absolute smackdown on Class B by Class A. Enemies, then my quirk ends up kind of useless. If that had been real, Shiazaki would have just murdered me before I ever hit the ground. That is such a great teacher question for Maizawa, because that puts the whole thing in perspective. Here I am just having a great time enjoying the, you know, the battle, the smackdown of Class 1A and Class 1B. No, actually, that outcome was, was pretty bad, because if this were real life, that would have been death for both both teams. What a great exercise, and I also sort of love how Kirishima is still growing. He seems simultaneously more confident, yet also more measured, cautious. And I pretty much killed hey. it. I I probably made some he did kill fans. it. <laughs> Speaking of being measured... The scarf is hard How many to are you still going? It took me six years to master. Move on, but don't forget this feeling. Right. Use it. Two who went through work stuck deep in reflections. Really close. It's not surprising. They face those Shie Hasaikai villains. Right, right. I mean, they've seen death. That brain dead shock jock looks like a total. Yeah, he's next, man. He's next. He's gotta gotta have a chance. I hope it goes well, though. I hope it doesn't end a disaster. Focus on how to recover from a mistake instead of the mistake itself. Yes, sir. Ooh, I like that. Use what you learned today to improve. Damn, he's good. <laughs> he's the man, obviously. Dominates the next match. <laughs> so invigorating. They were right. He does get the ladies. I'm looking forward to having him on my side. Already he switches so to B. Funny. Let's come up with a plan to make Class A cry like toddlers. He's gonna get a lot of experience with exercise. Really ruin their lives. No wonder he's so heavily featured in the intro. He's just talking to himself. We should start coming up with a plan too. I sort of, yeah, I love this like Mineta Deku stuff. It might be a small thing, but for me it's so nostalgic going back all the way to the, the first season. This arc does sort of feel like a, a homecoming in a way. How about the Aizawa Shinso scene? It's just another one of those examples of the show just packing so much in. I mean, just the difference that interpretation can make on events in our lives. It's really easy to imagine this reflection being just devastating and being like the end of the career for someone who isn't Shinzo because of the realization of how minuscule he is and how far he has to go and that's seeming maybe impossible. That's not something a lot of people can work through. But I think Aizawa was so, so exactly right talking about how you use that thing to push you forward instead of letting that bog you down failure just has this way of seeming permanent but you can fail a thousand times and succeed on the thousand and and oneth oneth <laughs> time and that first success will make those thousand failures very narratively clear in terms of its purpose in our lives and make it almost sweet but until you get to that point, it's just pain and faith, and that's really all you have. There's a huge danger, I think, that exists for young people, and that has to do with how they calculate and weigh time. So for Shinzo, as I was saying, six years is just an absolute lifetime. That's a, a over a third of his life, right? For me at that age, and I think for a lot of other people, the thought would be something like, if it takes six years, it's just not worth it. I had this sort of short-sightedness about age when I was younger, where anything that had a really, really delayed return was not worth it, because at that point, I would be like, old or something. And so things were only good if they happened now, in the moment. And that was such a huge mistake because time has passed and now I'm the age I never imagined being yet life is better than ever and had I just laid the groundwork for those things earlier I would be really really reaping the fruits of, of my labor that's a really powerful thing you can overwrite you know if you get that down where you value your future self and the state you'll be in then the results can compound way way beyond one's wildest imaginations I think I feel sorry for class B to be honest Todoroki is a strong focal point I am. look at just look at them look at these teams let's get on the same page this the is the stay out of my dangerous way. one his teamwork Teamwork still an issue. Oh uh, wow! Did you have to like take a shot at us while you made that announcement? The end of the year is almost upon us. The end of the year. <laughs> the end of the year. My goodness, what a year! What a year. Doria too has become better at using one for all. He learned shoot style and air force. I'm. I mean, <laughs> like if we're measuring Deku's growth. It, it's not shoot style. It's like he he's he just became the ultimate hero in a year, basically. Forget the finger blasting. He could retire now and be one of the most inspirational heroes of all time. Maybe it's no coincidence that this is somewhat nostalgic. It might very well be intentional. Since this is the end of the year, it is sort of nice to have this look back, you know, and to see one of the staples of what's made this show so great, which is just the interactions of the different students and teachers, with a reflection about what's changed. It's pretty cool. It also sort of has an extra layer of poignancy for me because this is the last available season. This is the last time I'll be able to just, like... You know, watch three episodes a week or whatever. Sad. A few even fought against the Shie Hasaikai. A few of them learned the fists of God. They pushed on earnestly, reaching toward their goals. Even Invisible Girl. What did you think of Shinzo? He's great. Uh -huh. He has guts. Yeah, he does. I also just love how just great the teachers are, continuously seeing the best for their students and just wanting the best for them with every fiber of their being. I mean, All Might is, well, All Might, yet he is continuously humbled by the students. You know, there's just something really staggeringly beautiful about that. Here we go, round two. I like how Invisible Girl's holding Dark Shadow. That's cute. 
Operation New Improv Moves. Why weren't you in the pageant? I thought I'd see you there. I'm sure you would have stood a good chance. For some reason, Mr. Aizawa failed to tell us that something like that would be taking place. <laughs> what a surprise. And nobody was going to beat um, Nedjure. It was just her year. Our fans have pushed us into a box. Into a box? Mm. I was just talking about that <laughs> with Shinzo. Don't put me in a box, man. Idolatry. A troubling ritual. Look, if I'm being honest, this guy looks pretty damn awesome. <laughs> both better than mine, Yayorozu. It's easy to see. I want to be my own hero, which is why I'm dying to try my hand against you today. All right, we got a little little personal edge to this battle. That's cool. Seems like there are a lot of parallel parallel matchups here. Your quirk lets you merge with darkness and move freely within it. Interesting. What does that remind me of? We are brothers in the shadows. Oh. <laughs> you have also stared into the abyss. Ooh, he like brought out the abyss. I'm loving these one-liners all of a sudden. The have you looked into the abyss and then I was not twinkling. Why was that such a hard-hitting line? I felt that. Do they even deserve to twinkle? Also, this is a really huge opportunity for Invisible Girl. Let's go! Curious what this Mushroom Girl's quirk is. Probably spores. She's smart and decisive even under pressure. It's so awesome. They really love her. She's also brave, risking herself on the front Right, lines that's right. Counting on her. That's true. Class B does have combat experience. At least some of them. I hear that was pretty badass. Got it! Report back when you find the enemy. Leave it to What's me. the range on Dark Shadow, I wonder? This is pretty... Pretty amazing. I didn't realize he, he could travel that far. Into the abyss. This is really cool. It's like a Dark Mirio in a way. Just appearing out of nowhere. But the farther he is, the less time he lasts. Tokam is another character that needs more focus. He's doing all these like amazing things off screen. Stand back. Tokoyami! Oh, did he just like ride Dark Shadow? That is pretty incredible. Please don't! Twinkle! That's the solution! Oh yeah, Invisible Girl, there you go! There you go! Nice. Giving her an actual, you know, ability besides, you know, not being seen, not being noticed is pretty cool. He vanished! Yeah, yeah. He escaped into the shadows! That's, That's really cool. <laughs> Quirk Dark. You and I share a hallowed destiny of darkness. I see. Fated rivals. I feel like this could also Very end in an uh, electric guitar battle. Oh my god, when did he get so jacked? <laughs> Are we gonna get some hawks this episode? That'd be cool. Hey, there we go. Back into the, the world. Ends up taking care of things himself. Right, that's the connection. I forgot Tokuyomi did his internship with him. You head back. Deal with all the paperwork, yeah? I'll help him. Hold on, what? That kid's an eager one. Yep. Apparently, I was the first eager to be the game made an offer to for after a sports festival. What an honor. Holy crap. Questions arose in me. Speaking of Tokuyomi focus. Why'd you ask me to intern with you in the first place? We're birds of a feather. Is it really just the bird theme? It's, that's more than that. This is Hawks. I'm 20% serious. <laughs> the reason was because I wanted to talk to someone from Class 1A. I'm interested in those thugs from the League of Villains who attacked you. Why don't we start with how the first attack went down? At the USJ. It's gonna sting a little bit for Tokuyami, no? Being used as, like, an informant, sort of? Don't look down on me, number three. No. Now the number two hero. That Tsukiyomi's going all out! He's definitely got potential. <laughs> You got a sec? What intel do you want now? No, no, he's noticed them. It's like we're one with the wind! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, why is this <laughs> so romantic? But that last 30, well, to be frank, it's because I thought you were wasting your true potential. It's like a meta commentary for his character in the show. Use your quirk to move more freely. I'm not interested in training the next generation or anything. But, but here I go training the next generation of things because I'm Hawks and I do the opposite of what I say I do. Those of us who can fly should fly. There's no need to be stuck on the ground with everyone else. Ooh, yeah, I mean, just in keeping with what I've seen with Hawks so far, he's definitely watching, right? He's watching the whole time. He's not as aloof as he wants people to believe or that he himself might even believe. And I sort of get it. You know, that can be a good test of how badly people want it. I actually have a similar experience when I started working as a stockbroker. It started as an internship and my boss was just super tough on everyone and gave us the most menial tasks you can imagine. And as a result, like 95% of people just dropped out. But I don't know, I just like the atmosphere and I like being there and I just put my head down and did what I was told, which 
you know, it's not the greatest thing. There are negatives of that approach as well, of course. Fast forward a couple months and I had a job there. And not only that, but that boss became something like a father figure to me. And the bond was so tight between the people in that office that something like six or seven years later, one of the people that was in the internship program with me got married in Vietnam. And like, we all flew there, you know, like we all flew to Vietnam for her wedding. That's not a normal relationship to be formed at work, but it had to do with selecting for the right things. And in that environment, one of the right things was just hustle and grit. And it turned out to be really important. Like it's a tough industry. And while this might sound harsh, I feel like just certain people aren't cut out for certain things. And that's not a bad thing necessarily. And I think the good news about it is that a lot of times what that is, is just like a heart, you know, or outlook, which can be cultivated. It's not something that if you don't have it, it's a death sentence. It just takes experience and learning and, you know, open-mindedness and the ability to reflect and push yourself. And it makes sense for someone like Hawks to not want to waste their time on pushing someone who doesn't have that kind of potential because his time is so valuable. I mean, clearly so valuable. Like he literally saves people every five seconds. So what an honor for Tokuyami to have that turned around in that way. I mean, it's sort of all worth it, I think. I'll use your challenge to reveal something. A move I discovered working with Hawks. <laughs> Dark Fallen Angel? It's a very <laughs> Tokuyami type name. He's moving through the shadows again. Still only one of them attacking? This is unexpected. Twinkle, I'm a twinkle. His eyes are fixed on me. Class A is completely in the dark. Imagine him and Mira as a tag team. I feel like that'll be really, really terrifying and fun. I'm the scheming hero, Vanta Dark. And misdirection is the key. Personality matches squirt. No! I told you to twinkle. <laughs> that scream. Perfect. Perfection. And poor Dark Shadow's tethered to his host on the ground. Do something, Ayama. Darkness can be defeated by twinkling. Dark Shadow. I'm still waiting for this fallen Dark angel attack. Fallen angel. There it is. Here we go. Wait, he can fly? Dark Shadow is always floating, so he can hold on to Tokuyami and carry him through the air. Pretty cool. Very clever, as always. Thank you, Deku, for the exposition. So cool! Whoa! I'm impressed! Alright. <laughs> I will fly even higher. An unexpected rendezvous! <laughs> I shall give light to these shadows. What were you waiting for? Let's wrap this up so we can all go eat cheese. I expect the unexpected. Oh, I don't know about that. Stand can't down. sleep on them. You can't assume you've won. Oh. Mushrooms? Oh. Maybe I didn't want to know what Mushroom Girl's quirk was. Cute little mushrooms for everybody. What do they do? What do they do? There's a bunch of things it could be. It could be Pokemon Spore, where they fall asleep, or it could be a hallucinogenic trip. Would they go there? Avatar did. It's funny in this episode, I said that we should get more Tokuyami focused because everything seems to happen to him off screen, but there it is. He and Hawks make a very interesting pairing. Perhaps it was a good choice waiting to introduce us to Hawks before showing us the interaction between the two of them. Is it just me or is there also something really sweet about what he said? I mean, Tokuyami's personality on the surface level is about, you know, darkness and staring into the abyss as he put it, being sort of edgy, but that's not really who he is, right? He's this sort of sweet kid, very polite and honorable and kind, you know, so it's hard to express this sentiment exactly, but it's sort of great that he was given sweetness, if that makes sense. I, I feel like he must have really treasured that. You know, he's a very sensitive person in his way. Despite being a really cool character and having really badass moments, there's a sort of vulnerability to Tokugami that I feel. And that might just be my interpretation, but there's something about Hawks very directly giving him praise and appreciating him and being really warm that I feel like is perfect for that. It is perfect for that kind of vulnerable person who probably on some level needs to hear that and wouldn't know what to do with it at first, but would also really deeply internalize it being a sensitive person. And like, what greater honor than to get that from Hawks, who is now the number two hero and just, you know, generally awesome, regardless of ranking. So really cool shine for Tokuyami, so to speak. See you guys next time when Kendo does her best, but, you know, ultimately falls short just because this is class one A, let's be real.